what if we could build materials that are stronger, lighter, and more durable than anything we've ever seen before? Hello and welcome to our video on the latest advances in nanotechnology and nanomaterials. In this video, we will be exploring the incredible world of nanotechnology and how it is changing the way we think about materials and manufacturing. From tiny machines that can heal our bodies to materials that are stronger than steel, nanotechnology is pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Section 1. What is nanotechnology? In this section, we will provide an overview of nanotechnology, explaining what it is, how it works, and some of the key applications of this technology. We will also discuss the different types of nanomaterials, such as carbon nanotubes and graphene, and their unique properties. Nanotechnology is a field of science and technology that focuses on the study, manipulation, and control of matter at the nanoscale. The term nano refers to a billionth of a meter, or about 1 100th the width of a human hair. At this scale, materials and systems exhibit unique properties that differ from those at larger scales. These properties can be harnessed to develop new technologies and materials with unprecedented properties. One of the key applications of nanotechnology is in the field of materials science. By manipulating materials at the nanoscale, scientists can create materials with unique properties that are not found in bulk materials. For example, carbon nanotubes are incredibly strong and lightweight, making them ideal for use in aerospace and other high-performance applications. Graphene, another nanomaterial, is an excellent conductor of electricity and could be used to develop ultra-fast computer chips. Nanotechnology also has many applications in the field of medicine. Scientists are developing nanoscale devices and particles that can be used to deliver drugs to specific cells in the body, diagnose diseases at an early stage, and even repair damaged tissues. For example, nanoparticles coated with antibodies can target cancer cells specifically, reducing the side effects of chemotherapy. Another application of nanotechnology is in the field of energy. Nanoscale materials can be used to improve the efficiency of solar cells, batteries, and other energy storage devices. For example, researchers are developing nanostructured materials that can increase the surface area of solar cells, allowing them to capture more sunlight and generate more electricity. Nanotechnology is also being used to develop new types of sensors and devices. Nanoscale sensors can detect and measure a wide range of parameters, such as temperature, pressure, and chemical concentrations. These sensors can be integrated into devices that can be used for environmental monitoring, medical diagnosis, and other applications. There are several types of nanomaterials, each with its unique properties and potential applications. Carbon nanotubes are one of the most widely studied and promising types of nanomaterials. These cylindrical structures made of carbon atoms are incredibly strong and lightweight and have excellent electrical and thermal conductivity. Graphene is another type of carbon-based nanomaterial that consists of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice. It is an excellent conductor of electricity and could be used to develop faster and more efficient electronic devices. Other types of nanomaterials include quantum dots, nanoparticles, and nanowires. Quantum dots are semiconductor nanocrystals that emit light of different colors depending on their size. They have potential applications in displays, lighting, and medical imaging. Nanoparticles are small particles of various materials, such as metals, ceramics, and polymers, that have unique properties due to their small size. They are used in a wide range of applications, from drug delivery to water purification. Nanowires are thin wires made of various materials, such as metals and semiconductors. They have potential applications in electronic devices, energy storage, and sensing. Section 2. The Latest Advances in Nanotechnology In this section, we will discuss some of the latest research and development taking place in the field of nanotechnology. We will talk about how scientists are using nanotechnology to create new materials, develop new medical treatments, and even build computers that are smaller and more powerful than anything we've ever seen before. One of the latest advances in nanotechnology is the development of nanomaterials that can sense and respond to their environment. Scientists are creating smart materials that can change their properties, such as color, shape, and electrical conductivity, in response to external stimuli.
these materials have potential applications in sensing, actuation, and drug delivery. Another area of research is the use of nanotechnology in regenerative medicine. Scientists are developing nanoscale particles and scaffolds that can help regenerate damaged tissues, such as cartilage, bone, and muscle. These nanomaterials can be used to deliver growth factors, stem cells, and other therapeutics directly to the site of the injury, promoting healing and tissue regeneration. In the field of energy, researchers are developing nanomaterials that can improve the efficiency of energy storage devices, such as batteries and supercapacitors. These materials can increase the surface area of the electrodes, improving their ability to store and release energy. They can also enhance the conductivity and stability of the electrodes, making them more efficient and durable. Scientists are also using nanotechnology to develop new types of sensors and diagnostic tools. Nanoscale sensors can detect and measure a wide range of parameters, such as temperature, pressure, and chemical concentrations, with high sensitivity and accuracy. These sensors can be integrated into diagnostic tools that can be used for disease diagnosis, environmental monitoring, and other applications. Another area of research is the development of nanorobots and nanomachines that can perform specific tasks, such as drug delivery and tissue engineering. These nanomachines can be programmed to respond to specific stimuli, such as changes in pH or temperature, and can be directed to specific sites in the body. They have potential applications in targeted drug delivery, cancer therapy, and regenerative medicine. Section 3, The Potential Impact of Nanotechnology In this section, we will discuss the potential impact that nanotechnology could have on our world. We will explore how this technology could revolutionize industries such as medicine, energy, and manufacturing. We will also discuss some of the ethical and environmental considerations that come with developing new technologies. Nanotechnology has the potential to revolutionize many different industries and have a significant impact on our daily lives. One of the areas where nanotechnology could have the most significant impact is medicine. Nanotechnology can be used to develop targeted drug delivery systems that can deliver drugs directly to cancer cells or other disease tissue. This could make cancer treatments more effective and reduce the side effects of chemotherapy. Nanotechnology can also be used to develop new diagnostic tools and imaging techniques. Nanoscale sensors and imaging agents can be used to detect early signs of disease, such as cancer or Alzheimer's disease, before symptoms appear. This could lead to earlier diagnosis and better outcomes for patients. In the energy industry, nanotechnology can be used to improve the efficiency of solar panels and other renewable energy technologies. Nanoscale materials can increase the surface area of solar panels, allowing them to capture more sunlight and generate more electricity. Nanotechnology can also be used to develop new materials for energy storage, such as batteries and supercapacitors, that are smaller and more efficient than current technologies. In manufacturing, nanotechnology can be used to develop new materials with unique properties. For example, nanocomposites can be used to create lightweight, yet strong, materials for use in airplanes, cars, and other vehicles. Nanotechnology can also be used to develop self-healing materials that can repair themselves when damaged, reducing the need for maintenance and repairs. However, as with any new technology, there are also ethical and environmental considerations that need to be taken into account. For example, there are concerns about the potential toxicity of some nanomaterials and the impact they could have on human health and the environment. It is essential to carefully assess the risks and benefits of new nanotechnologies before they are widely adopted. Conclusion In conclusion, nanotechnology is a fascinating and rapidly evolving field that has the potential to transform our world in ways we can only imagine. From developing new medical treatments to building stronger and more durable materials, the possibilities are endless. We hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new about the incredible world of nanotechnology. Thank you for watching.